Hi guys, I'm glad you're all here with me today. Did you get woke up there in Kansas by the magnitude 3.9 earthquake? Just before 5 a.m., it was actually at 4.40 a.m. Uh, Central Daylight Time, where 39 people said they felt it, USGS gave it an intensity level of 4, which means during the day it would be felt by just about everybody. Outdoors felt by a few, and at night it would have woke you up. So that's probably why they had 39 people report it. Dishes, windows, doors would have been rat rattling, walls making a creaking sound, and there would have been a sensation like a heavy truck striking the building. If you're outside warming up your car, or maybe uh, having a smoke, uh, you would have noticed that your car was rocking noticeably. I mentioned the smoking because my neighbor goes outside and uh, sits in his truck and has a smoke late at night and early in the morning. The felt reports as far east as Topeka, Kansas. And what do we got here? I hate it when they put the names on top. Lee Summit, it says. That would be in Missouri. Supposedly, this is the ninth earthquake to have struck the region within the last month and the largest would have been a magnitude 4.3 that would have been on the 8th of this month December 2021 today is Sunday there's a lot of fracking in this area a lot of waste disposal wells and I've covered this in recent videos about the earthquakes how this is not far from let me bring it out the mid-continent rift system that's in yellow and the red line is the humboldt fault zone they break it into different little names and locations now the humboldt fault system extends from much of nebraska all the way up through kansas here on wikipedia they have it drawn out in red the humboldt fault system and the green is the mid-continent rip system. Now, the largest earthquake ever recorded there in Kansas was near Manhattan, Kansas. And that was either a magnitude 5.0 or a 5.5. Here is the signature of that earthquake as it came in. And this is the only earthquake I've seen happening there going back oh, to maybe Thursday when I did my last report. And if you're interested in areas where there is fracking going on, now this is a map. It hasn't been updated. It's from 2017, uh, showing the areas. Yeah, some of them quite heavy for oil and gas fracking. So if this area, well, actually a little bit more northeast, had a magnitude 5.0 to 5.5, and that was a natural earthquake. Um, yeah, you can imagine what could occur from just fracking. Are you earthquake prepared? I'm sure you got some light damage from these recent earthquakes. If so, please put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you very much for your support. Make sure you have those heavy objects, shelves, hot water heaters all bolted to the wall and don't forget to have flex hose for the hot water lines yeah some people there on the west coast of petrolia california found out even though you got the hot water heater bolted to the wall if you don't have flex line for the shaking yeah your water lines could break or even gas lines and once again please stay safe and i'll talk to you later god bless you bye